In this video, what I have today is, this is the Blue Eddy Blue T, however you want to say it. And what this is, this is the EB3A version. It, they seem to make a lot of portable power stations because I had looked for different types of power stations to run to charge devices and all that. So I've actually put it back in the box. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, but also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave chapters down below. So that way you can skip, you can scrub the timeline and skip to where I'm actually using it and doing all that. But let me do a quick unboxing for you guys and show you exactly how you're gonna get this thing when you order it and what comes with it. So yeah, let's get to the unboxing now. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna actually get a box inside of a box because I have already opened it and it is packaged extremely well. And that's the actual unit here. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. And then down inside the box, you're gonna get some instructions and additional cable. Let me set all this stuff aside here. The cable that comes with it is basically just a computer cable. And I have like a ton of these things laying around. So that's always good if you ever lose that cable, you don't have to have to use their cable. And one thing they did include with this that I didn't even know was included, these are available with solar panels. So I don't need this cable right now. I'm just gonna go over the unit with you guys real quick. So looking over this thing, you're gonna see number one, it's about 10 pounds as far as weight. And I'll throw the specs up on the screen now, the sizing on it. It's seven inches this way and a little over seven uh, thick that way, which isn't like, you know, that's pretty small when you think of the power that this thing actually generates. So that's the overall dimensions of this thing. Just to give you an idea, the, the batteries inside this is a lithium ion phosphate, which is a higher grade battery for longer charging. You can get more charges. I think you can get up to 25, according to their website, you can get up to 2,500 charges. When you do the math on 2,500 charges, that's about four and a half years. And then this thing, that's up to 80%. So that means it'll still charge up to 80% for who knows? maybe 20 30 years maybe this could be a generational item that you can hand down this is a, and the power outputs 268 watt hours so that's the the power output and the max output power 600 watts so it comes with 600 watts max output power so let's go over some of the features of it and to turn the display on you want to just mash this button once and you get to display I don't know if you can see it in the camera but you can see it's zero input 89 percent power and that gives you 30, which is kind of cool because it tells you that, that means it has 30 hours of power. There's no output right now with zero input. Some of the ports on this thing, you get a cigarette lighter type charging port. You get two of these little barrel output plugs, which looks like they're 12 volt, 10 amps coming out of there. USB-A, which the USB-A, we all know what that is. That's just basic USB with a three amp output, five volts. Uh, DC current. These are all DC, by the way. And by, let's do that. So to turn it on DC, I hit that once, and now I have DC power. And then if I want AC power, I can hit that. Now I have AC and DC. So I've got two AC outlets there, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven DC outputs counting the wireless charging on the top. And AC output, I have two, so a total of nine. It has a surge protector thing right there, so if it does pop, you can pop that. This is where you're gonna use your cord. If you're gonna charge it, you're gonna put plug that in, which I will show that. I will plug it in here in a minute and show you guys. And this barrel plug right here, this is an eight millimeter barrel plug. That's where that solar cable is gonna go. But one of the other things that I highly recommend purchasing, you see what this thing is? This is a car charger, because I wanna be able to charge this thing while I'm in a car. I can just drive around town or go charge it real quick and go to town. This thing was like maybe eight, nine bucks. I'll leave a link on where to pick one of these. I highly recommend getting the car charging port right there. You'll plug that in there, then plug that in a cigarette lighter. And the actual charging input that this thing that my car was up to 100 watts so with 100 watts of input you could charge this thing pretty quick on the subject of charging when you're charging with a with a power cable ac power cable this thing will charge fully charged from zero in about an hour and 20 minutes which was very impressive on how quickly i could charge this thing up there's three charging modes which is all done with the app and i'll get into the app there's a standard a silent and a turbo mode that you'll kind of cycle through and that's why it's important to download the app Talking about the apps, this thing is Bluetooth capable, so it'll it'll hook up to the your phone Bluetooth. 
so it's not Wi-Fi, so the range is only gonna be about 30, 40 feet max. But one thing the app tells you, it tells you your power supply, it lets you turn it into eco mode, which eco mode is like a, a type of power saving mode when it gets when it's just draining by itself you can put in eco mode one to four hours as far as the eco mode and then it has something called power lifting which gives it a 1200 watt surge which i'll show that here in a minute because i keep it in power lifting all the time obviously you know i want maximum power all the time and you can operate this little light right here you know there is a little light which i mean i think that's handy because if this thing is sitting somewhere you know that that'll definitely help out and you can turn that on and i was like where would i even use bluetooth for a light i was camping and i had this sitting on the table the picnic table and when i got up at night to use the bathroom or something i actually turned that on with my cell phone and it just lit up everything outside which was kind of cool that you actually have that option would i use it that much no probably not but it does have a high a medium and a sos light on it which works fairly well at night by the way because it's an led one of the things that i'd found this thing works the best with is you know using like say a gopro battery so this is like my little gopro battery charger kit right here you see that so if you wanted to charge like some batteries real quick what's cool is it also tells you how much power these things actually drain which i'm always wondering how much power you actually need three watts is what I get charging that little GoPro batteries. I'm gonna show you some footage where I took it to the park and I was at the park and I wanted to charge everything where I really charged like the cell phone, the GoPro batteries, the drone. I had all kinds of stuff plugged into it. And it I think it was only pulling like 40 watts, but let's go ahead and put this thing to the test. I'm gonna use a heater, which maxes out at 1500 watts. And I'm gonna use a, a right angle grinder and a drill. So let's say I had a, a small project and I didn't have any power outlets. That's where I could see this thing would be handy too. I don't have to run extension cords all over the place. I just grab my power pack, put that thing down. And I've got, a, I got enough power to finish like a job if I had to do that real quick so let's go ahead and let's put that stuff to the test now obviously this thing is not designed to run a construction site so if you guys think you're buying something that's just like a little 10 inch box for a construction site you're crazy but if you got a quick job there's times i just want to like have to cut something real fast we're at 82 percent we're pulling about it looks like i'm pulling 275 Oh yeah, look at that. It's working. We just spiked up to 500. So it spiked up to 478 total. That worked great, I actually like that. So you could run a right angle grinder out of this and it only used 3% to cut that pole right there. So let's try this beast out. I'm leaving that plugged in. And by the way, you can still plug in these with the ground because what they've done, they've just made an open section right there. Let's run a quick bit in it. This thing's got some torque, baby. All right, let's try to drill some holes. Oh, wow. So you could you could do like a, a, a quick little job if I had to. There you go, I ran a right angle grinder. We're still at set, that used 1% to drill all those holes. So if you had to run a drill real quick and needed to do like a quick job, I think this thing would be awesome. All right, we're gonna put this thing to the test here. I have a, a small little space heater and this thing comes in at 1500 watts max power. And what I did, I do have power lift mode on so that's 1200 watt of surge power so let's go ahead let's turn it on now that's fan i do have ac on you can see it going up it looks like we're at 587 if you have something like this that spikes up really high over the 600 watt it'll only give the power that it needs we're at 90, almost 92 degrees as far as heat. And we can run this for, I don't know how long you can run it because you're maxing this thing out. 
So you could run a heater. I wouldn't recommend it because it really maxes this thing out. I just wanted to see how I, let's go all the way. That'd be 1500 watts. It actually spiked up to 676. This thing has a power fault overload. It's still actually pushing power, but it's only drawing 236 uh, watts. Huh, interesting. So there you go, that's the power on that. Very good on that. I was impressed with the power that this thing outputs right there. Another thing that this thing is, it's also called, it has a feature on it called a UPS, which what UPS means, it's an uninterrupted power supply. And what does that mean for you guys that wanna know? Let's just say you wanna leave it plugged in all the time. That way it'd be charging. You can run out from here, say like a refrigerator, a computer or something. I run a UPS on my, on my desktop because if I'm working on a video or working on a project and then the power goes out, it, what it does, it kicks over to that battery backup and gives you enough time to put everything on save and shut down. Let's go ahead and plug it up and let it start charging. All right, so we're set up now. Let me show you guys exactly how this UPS system works. You can see I'm plugged in right here, so I'm charging. I'm at 264 watts coming in. It's already going up. I'm at zero going out, but I'm at UPS here. That it could be anything that you want to have on when the power goes out. So let's pull the let's pull the cord and see what happens. So yanking the cord out. Did you see that little flicker? We are still pulling 14 watts. That light never turned off. It just barely flickered because it jumped from the power supply here into the battery supply. So that's what the UPS function is. So this that means this thing will always serve a purpose. You could run it as a backup supply. I'll put the charge times up on the screen because you can charge as high as, I think you can go as high as like 400 watts max input. I'm running it on the standard right at, so it goes up to about 264, which it, it gives you a better, it'll help your battery life out. I wouldn't run it on turbo unless I was somewhere where I think I needed to charge it real fast. You can run dual solar panel and AC at the same time and really get up to like three, 400 watts easily on this thing. But just a cable like this, is gonna charge in an hour and a half, which is a pretty good time for charging. So while it's charging, it will get like a little warm on top. We'll test it out here. Right now, it looks like it's at 91 degrees on top. Yeah, so right there on top, it gets a little warm and it has a fan coming out of the side. Looks like we're at 78 as far as where the fan is blowing out. 76 on that side. So yeah, it doesn't get like crazy warm, but it is, it is loud when it comes down. All right, everybody, final thoughts of the Blue Eddy EB3A. This is a unit that I think will be, I, I will definitely use this amongst my travels, traveling around. I use power. I need on the go power all the time. I don't run with a generator. I do a lot of car camping and any type of RV type camping. You could get this, you can get a solar panel and you could be completely off the grid with one of these things. It retails at $299, but it's on sale right now for $239. And I'll leave links below where you could pick it up on either Amazon, Blue Eddie's website, whichever one. And I'll also leave a link where to get one of these cables along with a solar panel if you want to get one. I will get the solar panel and when I do get a solar panel I'll give another update and let you guys see how that works. What is this going to be good for? This is great for someone that just has maybe a handyman that just needs quick power and they don't have a lot of battery powered or they just need to charge their batteries. If you got like a DeWalt battery system, Ryobi or something, you could run it and be charging your batteries while you're working on a project. If you're out somewhere where you don't have any type of power, where you don't have a power outlet. I think it'd be very handy gift for maybe one of them construction workers or a handyman that runs that right there. What I'm gonna be using it for the most is amongst my travels, whether I'm doing car camping or just at a campground where I need to charge all of our equipment. If we're running like a, a drone, GoPros or something like that, cell phones, really good that we could charge all of our equipment while we're out doing something. And as far as cons, the only real con that I could really find is this display doesn't want to stay on you have to constantly hit that I wish there was a the display could always stay on it gets a little loud when it's charging when you're charging this thing sometimes it starts sounding like a, a motorcycle cranking up the fans will jump up but they will go back down when you're charging it it's like one of these things when you need it 
you love it. When you don't need it, you don't think about it. But because of the fact it runs that pass-through charging, I think that's a great feature that they added to it that not a lot of other power banks have like that. You guys leave in the comments below if you had any experience with one of these portable power stations. That's all I got today, everybody, on the Blue Eddy EB3A 600 watt, 268 watt hours, portable power supply, small, compact. By the way, really nice handle. Look at that cool handle. Just goes down like a little lunchbox. That's it, everybody. Let's, um, let's go get to charging. Let's get some power going. Woo!